What's up and welcome back to Gamers Digest. Here we are with episode 12 of Starfield. As always, if you guys are enjoying, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And in this episode, guys, we are getting one step closer to getting our free ship. So last episode, we went ahead and defeated Maya Cruz. If you guys haven't watched that, make sure you go check it out. It was just posted on Sunday. And she gave us a drive, an encrypted drive that we just came here, dropped off to Alex Shahid. Now we have one more quest to do as part of the Freestar Rangers. Then we should get another encrypted slate, and that should be enough to help out our buddy Alex. That way he's able to unencrypt all the drives, and we're able to find out why they keep stealing ships from Hope Tech. So while we're in Aquila City, I'm going to go ahead and buy a few things. We just went ahead and landed at Red Mile. I'm not really sure what's going on here. It's extreme cold. It's a, it's a snow biome is what it looks like. It's called the Red Mile. We're here on official Free Star Ranger business. So, I mean, this guy... There's a lot of security here, so I'm kind of confused as to what this place is. I dare to run. It's cold. We're getting inside, so we're warming up. I didn't do anything wrong. Bullshit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? Okay, so everyone here seems like a scumbag, so let's hope we're okay. Here's a free star ranger, Autumn Macmillan. Hey, so Autumn is on her way to bust a smuggling ring, and that's the same contact that's going to go ahead and help us out, find out the information we need to find out. It looks like this is kind of like a bar, casino type area, kind of like the degenerate of the space galaxy, I guess, all the... All the degenerates come yeah, here, well, and they just gamble all their credits away, so... Let's go ahead and sit down, and we're gonna go talk to this contact. Sit. I'll fill you guys in on anything that happens. Just finished talking with Jade. She seems pretty scary. We gotta go over here and talk to May Devine and become a runner. We just agreed to run a red mile. I guess it's a race or kind of a death run. In return for running this red mile, May is willing to give up Marco, who has a lot of information on the first. So here we go. We're going to go run the Red Mile. I actually have no idea what this entails. It's basically a sporting event. They're going to bet on if I'm going to survive or not. I'm hoping it's not out there. I'm quite nervous, actually. We're headed down this elevator. And we got to run to a beacon, press a button and then run all the way back. It doesn't seem so bad. I'm actually assuming that it gets worse. So me and Lynn, oh, I forgot about you, Lynn. We're gonna run it together. So we're in this elevator. This is the last chance. Uh, we don't really have a choice here, so we're gonna run it. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure, guys, what to expect, so. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hey, this is all in the effort of getting a free ship. I'm about to run a mile. Oh my goodness, there are dead people here. How did these people die? Alright, so we gotta run to the beacon. That's all the way over there. In the distance. That doesn't seem too bad. But I'm assuming there's going to be bad guys on our way. We're going to try to kill us like that. Okay. These guys... We may 
made it to the beacon. So we just gotta go ahead and smack the button. And then we gotta start our race back. So let's go ahead and activate. Now we gotta run back. like that guys we made the red mile that was actually very simple um like these people died they must have actually just not wanted to live anymore because that was probably the easiest thing in the world i just ran the red mile we're back Congratulations, may runner. you have succeeded where most have failed okay so she's gonna go ahead and get a courier. I have a feeling I'm being set up currently, so I'm quite nervous. You but now we're it. supposed to talk to Autumn. Tougher than you look. And we'll go from there, I guess. I'm just you at first. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I think she's hitting on me. Now we're back we talking to Maydeve. Howdy. She doesn't look to be getting any couriers going, so Time for me to let's kinda Let's try to hurry this up. And we're headed back onto our ship. And we're going to head to Marco's ship. So basically we just came here to run the red mile. Talk to Autumn. Get hit on. And then, you know, now we're headed to Marco's ship. And inevitably we're going to have to take out Marco. I have a feeling we're going to have to do a mid-air battle. But I'm kind of hoping we don't because the Frontier, as you know, it could use some work. So I'll see you guys when we go ahead and get to Marco's ship. Ice peeled for life forms in this area. For some reason, when uh, she said meet Marco at his ship, I just figured he would be in the sky for some reason. So yeah, there's not going to be any sort of sky battle. And we're just going to a ship that is on the ground stationary so uh that's awkward so let's go ahead and confront marco he's got a nice ship here all right so everyone here seems to be pretty friendly this is a nice ship this is a beauty way nicer than the frontier but hey we don't want to get into an all-out war here because uh we'd get murked with the amount of turrets on this ship i thought maybe that was the way but it's locked hello mr marco it's me gregory I'm just here to, uh, you know, come chat with you. So let's go ahead and talk. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots. And I'll let you guys know what Marco has to say. And if a uh, battle breaks out, you'll be the first to know. Okay, well, Marco just pulled a gun on us. We just took out Marco. Okay, that was actually crazy. Uh, there was no reason for you to shoot us, Marco. That's messed up. Let's go ahead and try to make our way out of here without, uh, you know, dying. Which is gonna be quite difficult. if we're doing that. I think I said when we got on the last thing we were all out here war and they were shooting war because of the amount of turrets on this ship. But here we are. There you go, Lynn. Good job, Lynn. I 
and his guns they have are complete garbage. Maybe this is like a shortcut out of here? Okay, sorry about that. You were so nice when we first got in here. And I'm sorry that had to happen. Okay, so that kind of looked like a little shortcut maybe out of there. Pass some of the danger. So just like that, we absolutely murked Marco. He was about super easy. He, I don't even think he shot us. I think his turns did more work again. But just like that, we've got another drive, so we're going to head back, look at Alex, give him this drive, and hopefully he has some answers for us. So I'll see you guys when we get to Alex. Huh. Here we are. We just made it to Alex. We're going to go ahead and give him the drive, and hopefully he's able to give us the encryption and tell us what we need to know. So, uh, Emma Cox and the Marshal now want to have a seat with me. So now we're going to go ahead and sit down, and I'll fill you guys in on what they say. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. So Alex was able to crack the encryptions and he found out about this place called The Factory. And that's where we'll be headed in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you're behind on episodes, feel free to check out the last episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.